Welcome to this tutorial showing you how to create a piece of artwork in the style of Andy Warhol. And you'll see that in Photopia, I am ready to start a new project. So I'm going to click new project and I'm going to go to uh, print A4 and then I'm going to turn the width the same as the height. So I have a square and then I'm going to click create. So I now have a square project space to work in. Okay, and now I'm going to open up the photo I want to use, this one of myself. And of course I want a square, so I'm going to use the rectangle select tool and press shift to select an area that is a square. I'm going to press control C to copy and control V to paste into my new project. And then use the arrow tool to resize that image so it fits the space. Okay, right, now we need to start changing colors. So first thing we're gonna do is create a new layer down the bottom right hand corner. And I'm gonna zoom in a bit so I can see what I'm doing. And I'm going to select the polygonal lasso tool. And I'm going to click around the edges of my t-shirt. And that's the first thing that I'm going to change the color of today. Okay. And it doesn't matter if I go off the edge, I can go back on and around. And my shirt is going to be a kind of dark pink. So I get the paint bucket tool and fill that in. Okay. Right, I'm gonna grab a new layer and I'm going to now color my beard the same way. Polygonal lasso tool. And I'm gonna go around my beard and I'm being fast for the sake of the tutorial. I would suggest you take your time to make sure you're accurate. And once I get to the end, I'm going to choose a yellow for my beard, a nice warm yellow, and use the paint bucket to fill that in too. There we go. But of course I have my mouth that I need to make visible. So I'm going to make that layer invisible for a minute. And then I'm going to use the polygonal lasso tool again, just to go around the inside of my beard and up underneath my lip, background above my lips. Okay. So I've got that masked off and then going to make that layer visible again and press delete. So I delete off that bit. Okay, then I'm going to make a new layer again. This time I'm going to do my skin. So same as I've done the other two times, I'm just going to go around the edge of my head. Again, I'm being a lot quicker for the sake of the tutorial. Take your time so that you're accurate. And it doesn't matter where it's covered by my beard. I can just go down through my beard and then up. And I'm going to choose this nice light baby pink and use the paint bucket tool. There we are. Just click on that and fill that area in. Okay. Just going to drag that layer to below the beard, but I'm going to make that layer invisible for a minute so that I can do my lips. So a new layer again for my lips polygonal lasso tool. There we go. Go around my lips. There you go. Okay. And once they're masked off, I'm going to grab myself a nice red color. Not red, maybe hot pink, something like that. I'm going to match my lips to the background. Okay. Okay. That's my lips done. And so that is all the coloring done that I need all the different elements colored. So I'm going to merge those layers together. So they're all on one layer. And I'm going to next color in the background. Okay, so 
just move the photo layer to the top for a minute. Then I'm going to use that same pink for my background and you won't see it because I've got the photo on top but my background has been filled in now as you can see in the layer. And I'm now going to go back to my photo layer and I'm going to go image adjustments threshold and this allows me to turn it into something that looks a bit more like a print and you can adjust the settings to have it as light or dark as you like and I'm happy with that. So I'm now going to go to the drop down menu above that layer and I'm going to go down to multiply which is then going to show those colors through the threshold layer. So I've got all of them showing. So now I'm going to merge those layers together. So I have them all as one piece and I'm going to go image canvas size and I'm going to change both the width and the height to 200% and make sure I set the anchor to the top left. I'll click OK and I'll zoom out for you and you can see that that picture is now in the top left corner. So I'm going to duplicate that layer and then use the arrow tool to drag that new layer over and I'm going to duplicate it again. Right click duplicate layer and bring that one down to the bottom right hand corner and then right click duplicate layer one last time for that piece. Okay and then on the top layer I'm going to go image adjustments hue saturation and I'm going to slide the hue slider over and it will change the colors on that piece. And that is what I'm going to do for all of the pieces, except for the first one. So that each version of me is slightly different colors or very different colors. One last time, hue saturation, slide it over. And yep, yeah, looking good. Click OK. And that is my piece in the style of Andy Warhol done and dusted. I hope you find this tutorial helpful.